dear students welcome to our channel chemistry by simple rajendra shukla and now we are continuing with our j e solved question bank session the question which comes here is the correct observation in the following solutions is the correct observation in the following solutions is so in this reaction we need to identify we need to identify this in the given reaction sucrose is c12 h22 o11 it is mentioned above the arrow that we need to cleave that is we need to break we have to carry out the fission of the glycosidic bond that means we have to add a molecule of water and allow hydrolysis to take place as a result we will get c6h12o6 another c6h12o6 with the same molecular formula but a different structure this is an aldo hexose while we get another molecule of c6h12o6 which is not glucose but it is fructose and that's a keto hexose now the selvanoff's test is the one which gives red coloration with keto hexoses say if this is a and this is b then selvanoff's test i'll just write the reagent what i mean it simply indicates we have to take dilute resorcinol i hope you remember resorcinol meta hydroxyphenol we have to take dilute resorcinol and we have to take dilute hcl so so the mixture of dilute resorcinol and dilute hcl is called selvanoff's reagent and this reagent is the one with whom keto hexoses give red coloration so the answer is c formation of red color let us move to the next question wherein we have three elements x y z and they are in the third period that is somewhere from sodium to we can say chlorine followed by argon the oxides of x y z okay i want to convert them into their oxides are basic true on the left we will get basic oxides then somewhere in the center like aluminium we will get amphoteric and as we move towards the right we get non metals on the periodic table which make acidic oxide the correct order of atomic number pretty simple question basic amphoteric acidic x y z ka atomic number ka order chahiye very 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 indeed really very simple question now among x y z it is very very clear that x can be something like sodium magnesium in the third row y can be aluminium silicon and z can be phosphorus sulfur or chlorine 
So, as far as the atomic number of x, y, z is concerned, as we move from left to right in the periodic table, the atomic number definitely increases and hence it's very clear that x is less than y, less than z. Yet another question in front of us. The one is one that is not expected to show isomerism. Not. Let us convert them. Let us write them in their general uh, format. A can be written as M, where M is a metal. A4, A represents the first ligand. B, B represents the next ligand, raised to plus two. I'm just converting it. In them into their molecular formula. That's an easier way to solve. Similarly, M, that is nickel, metal is indicated by M. En thrice, that is a symmetrical bidentate ligand, Aa thrice raised to 3 plus. C is M metal ligand A2, B2, and D is metal followed by ligand A2, B2. Okay, so which of the following is not expected to show isomerism? The question is very clear, very direct. See, if you remember, this gives the MUR and the FAC isomerism. That is the, the trans and the cis isomerism, a very famous general formula. This will definitely give us cis and trans as it is A to B2. This is same cis trans A to B2. Now this makes A4B. In A4B, We'll have something like this. A4 and a B. So this is the geometry in which we cannot have isomerism, whether cis or trans. So this is the answer. Answer is option. Next question, cast iron is used for the manufacture of. The theory behind this cast iron is I'm giving you a complete flow chart. The flow chart will be of very, very great help to you. See, what I'm trying to explain, this is a complete revision of the section of metallurgy, which is on pig iron and the cast iron, C. I am taking pig iron. You can look here. Where the percentage of carbon is 5.6. From here I am I'm saying I am just moving to I am adding some scrap iron to it. Scrap iron is nothing but coke. Children, it's only coke. And I pass hot air through this. As a result, what we are forming is the cast iron. And this cast iron contains percent of carbon from 3 to 3.5. Now, from here, I can have two outlets.
like this. If I make use of Bessemer converter, we're in making use of spigalacine, an alloy of it's an alloy of iron, manganese, carbon. Then what we get is steel, which contains carbon 0 0.5 to 1.5. If I pass this cast iron in a reverberatory furnace, if I'm passing this cast iron through a reverberatory furnace, cast iron through reverberatory furnace with oxygen. Then what I get is wrought iron where the percentage of carbon is 0 0.2 to 0.5 percent. I think the flow chart is self-explanatory. As you can see, it is used for the manufacture of steel and wrought iron. So steel and wrought iron, steel and wrought iron is the option D. The next question, children, is the shape and structure of XEF6 minus and XEO3F. XEF6 minus. No, I think the question has some error. Definitely, because XEF6 minus. No, XEF6. This is XEF. Five minus. Now, we take XEF5 minus number of electrons in valence shell of xenon is 8. In that of fluorine is 7, but there are 5 fluorines, 7 into 5, plus 1 negative charge we are adding, not multiplying here. 1 negative charge is added, so it becomes 8, 7, 5, 35. 35 plus 8 is... Oh my God, people are taking time to do 35 plus 8 also. And plus 1. So that makes a total of 44. 44 divided by 8. 8 fives are 40. That is Q1. Remainder is 4. Divide the remainder by 2. So Q2 is 2. And hence... XEF6, no, XEF5 minus has five bond pair and it has got two lone pair. And hence the total number of hybrid orbitals, which is Q1 plus Q2, is coming five plus two, seven. And hence the hybridization is SP3D3. Which will have a geometry of something like this five, so it'll be like this pentagonal with 
one lone pair and one negative charge. So pentagonal by pyramidal. So the negative charge which you see here is on fluorine. We have one lone pair here. We have another lone pair here. So it becomes pentagonal by pyramidal. Pentagonal by pyramidal. So the geometry is pentagonal by pyramidal. Let us see which structure has pentagonal by pyramidal geometry. Uh, pentagonal by pyramidal. Uh, none of them because... I can't see pentagonal by pyramidal over here in the options. Now see, understand pentagonal by pyramidal is also called pentagonal planar. Now let us find pentagonal planar is in this option. Obviously the answer is A, but then still I'm going to X, E, O, 3, F, 2. I'm trying to sort this out also. Number of electron last shell of xenon is 8. That of oxygen is 3. 3 oxygen makes 18, 2 fluorine becomes 14, 8 plus 18 plus 14. Some students are giving me the answer, but some are not. 8 plus 18 plus 14 makes a total of 40, a direct number. Divide by 8, we get 5. So number of lone pairs, 0, and number of bond pair are 5. So the hybridization becomes sp3d and the geometry becomes very, very simple. XeO3, so three oxygens are the three corners of a trigonal geometry and two fluorine perpendicular to the trigonal plane and hence it becomes trigonal bipyramidal. Trigonal bipyramidal. Let's move ahead. The molecular geometry of SF6 is octahedral. Let us understand, is it really octahedral? Let us see. Sulfur, last shell, six electrons. Fluorine, last shell, seven, seven, six, 42, 42 plus six. Oh my God, 42 plus six. Be so ho. 42 plus six, 48, divide by eight, six the 48. So number of bond pair are six. If bond pair are six, it's direct, it is octahedral. And its hybridization is sp3d2. Now, ठीक है ये तो उसने दिया ही हुआ है ये octahedral है बराबर है लेकिन हमसे पूछा है sf4 के बारे में गया है. So let us solve sf4 last shell of sulfur has six electron fluorine seven seven four fluorines twenty eight twenty eight plus six is thirty four. Divide by 8, 4 is 32, that's Q1, which indicates the bond pair and the number of remaining is 2, that's the remainder, divide the remainder by 2, so you get Q2, Q2 is 1, that is the number of lone pair, okay. So now total number of hybrid orbitals, total hybrid orbitals is Q1 plus Q2. That is 4 plus 1, which makes 5. So hybridization is sp3d. So something like this. Sulfur hai, char fluorine hai, and a clone pair bhi hai, dong karke. So that's a seesaw geometry. Now children, seesaw is also called trigonal by pyramidal. So this is the answer. The number of subshells associated with <laughs> very simple question. See, the number of subshells associated with N four M minus two. See, when N is four, I mean principal quantum number is four. So azimuthal quantum number which indicates the shells is L and L is 0 to N minus 1 where N is principal quantum number 4. So 0 to N minus 1 becomes 0 to 3. So L can be 0, L can be 1, L can be 2, 
and L can be 3. So number of shells, so number of subshells, this indicates the subshells, not the shells, this indicates the shells. So the number of subshells are 4, but each subshell has a magnetic quantum number which is m and m is given as minus l2 plus l so when l is 0 minus l2 plus l is also 0 but when l is 1 minus l2 plus l is minus 1 0 plus 1 and when l is 2 it is minus 2 minus 1 0 plus 1 plus 2 and when l is 3 it is minus 3 minus 2 minus 1, 0, plus 1, plus 2, plus 3. Now, children, this makes a total of 16. But don't mark the answer 16 because usne aapko n equal to 4 ka sara kuch nahi pooch hai. They are asking number of subshell associated with this, this. I mean N4, C, 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 I am just marking it with N4. N, M, N4, N, M, minus 2. N4, N, M, minus 2. M, minus 2, jaye. M, minus 2, M, minus 2. So, you have got only two orbitals, two subshells. So, answer is B. Very intelligent question. Okay, the next and the last question. Oxidation state of transition metal atoms in X, Y, Z. Okay, here we chromium, here we manganese, here we Fe. How did I find it? Because it is given transition metal atom. Okay, so. K2. Just a minute. Yeah. K2Cr2O7. So 2K plus 2Cr plus 7O equal to 0. Sum of oxidation number of all elements in a molecule is 0. Potassium is alkali metal. It is always plus 1. Oxygen oxidation number is minus 2 in its oxides. So chromium comes out to be, you can solve now if you want. I will just solve that. 2 into plus 1, which will be plus 2, plus 2 chromium, minus 14, equal to 0. So, chromium comes out to be plus 6. Next is KMnO4. So, K plus Mn plus 4O will be 0. K is plus 1. Mn I need to find out. Oxygen is minus 2 and 0. So, Mn comes out to be plus 7. Next, K2FeO4. So, 2K plus Fe plus 4O igloo 0. So, 2 into plus 1, Fe I want to find 4 into minus 2 igloo 0. So, Fe comes out to be plus 6. So, X is 6. Y is 7. Z is also 6. All positive oxidation states. I want their total. So, 7 plus 6 is 13. 13 plus 6 is 19. So, the answer is 19. This is an integer type question. So, dear students, that's all for today. This was a good short session of J e. Solved Question Bank. Keep watching. Love and blessings to all of you.